Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our Vigan and today we're going to look at bombing. Now there are various methods of bombing in the Vigan but the one that seems most effective and useful is low level strip bombing with high drag bombs. Like everything in the Vigan it's pretty simple to use once you've been shown how to do it and how to use the symbology. Okay so before we go any further let's look at the keys we're going to be using today. Very simply we're going to have trigger safety bracket and we're going to hold that um, to uh, basically allow us to pull the trigger and then the trigger itself whoops and then the trigger itself weapon release okay um, so we've got this to show what we're doing we're here we've got some bad guys there basically and I've already put a waypoint um, in the middle of those baddies to guide us there we don't have to use a waypoint for bombing you can ha happily just do it without a waypoint and just go and bomb uh, by eye uh, right, um, just for our purposes and just to show how to do it, we're going to change that waypoint, which is waypoint 1, to an attack waypoint. We're going to go tact input 9 and waypoint 1. So let's set our waypoint to an attack waypoint out back to the standard position. Check it's an attack waypoint. That says M1, so it is now an attack waypoint. Okay, put it back to this airport. Okay, and now we're going to arm up with bombs, so the arming screen. And the best bombs, uh, well the only bombs we can use for low level bombing are with uh, these HE bombs with shoot, so high drag bombs basically. Um, and basically you drop them at low level going um, about 500 knots. And because they're retarded, because they've got the shoot, it takes them a while to reach the ground and hence you can get out of the way before they hit the ground. If you did this with uh, low drag bombs without shoots you would just blow yourself up if you were doing low level bombing. So while we're rearming, now let's look at setting the QFE. This is something we have to do for dropping bombs. So in some aircraft, the radar will scan the ground and calculate um, where the ground is and how what elevation the target is. This The Vigan doesn't do this. Its drop uh, ballistics calculation is done on its INS system, which doesn't have the ability to scan. Um, so what we'd have to do is tell the system basically what altitude the hostiles are going to be do, going to be at and um, we do that by setting the QFE here something you have to do otherwise your bomb aiming system will not work uh, it just so happens that these hostiles are if I can get this to turn I just left click and drag at 1011 QFE I'm going to do a separate video showing how to calculate the QFE um, for a given target so for now we'll just just um, wait until that other video to show how to do that okay bombs are now armed we have 16 high drag bombs I don't know the actual uh, warhead size right now let's get the weapon set up you can do this in the air or on the ground uh, your, your weapon selector here and the one we want is just it just so happens we've already got it selected SJO plan bomb plan basically and we've got here the uh, a dial to show the distance between each bomb uh, the, the idle distance between each bomb uh, as they strike the ground so at the moment we've got 15 meters I want to change that you left click and right click here I want to change that to 10 meters so I want an idle spacing of 10 meters per bomb and the computer which essentially drop your bombs will calculate the time interval between drops to achieve your 10 meters between each drop okay so let's set ourselves to nav mode we don't have to drop in AF ANF we can drop in nav mode happily um, let's go to mill power brakes on stage 2 burner and off we go rotate gear up Well, there's no time to lose, so we'll turn straight on the waypoint. Which is going to be over there to our left. As we can see there, our waypoint that we set is there, so we can locate the targets that way. When we go on our bomb run, we're going to go on uh, burner stage 1. That seems to be the best solution. It's not going to be transonic. It's going to be just below transonic. Altitude doesn't really matter. Obviously, we're going to be fairly low, so below a 1,000 feet roughly. Um, but whether you're... 200 feet 300 feet it doesn't really matter the bombing computer will allow for whatever height and whatever speed and attitude you're at generally if it's a very dangerous target like a sam system then you want to be really low right on the deck and don't be scared of going really low because of the high drag bombs uh they're high drag they will not hit you okay so first of all let's go for just a dry run so i can so i can show off the symbology now one thing uh, to note is we will get new symbology uh, but it will be quite low down on the hud and it can often cause a problem um, so there are two ways around this one we can click that uh, where I'm highlighting there let me show you you can see it uh, basically adjusts the angle of our HUD glass slightly let me put that back 
I prefer to basically do it myself. I've got uh, some controls set up. I prefer to do it like this with a seat adjust. It just works better for me with my track AR. Seat adjust up and down. And what I'll do is I'll just, whoopsie. Is I'll just um, move the seat up significantly like that uh, so that I can see quite far down the glass. Okay, so let's get on um, stage one burn and go in. See if I can see them. There they are, they're just on the road there. So what I'm going to do now is hold the trigger release and you can see we've got information. Um, so we've got a circle here and a dot here. Um, now what that's telling us is that if we were to drop our bombs now, to drop our bombs we hold the safety and keep our finger on the trigger. And we're going to keep our finger on the trigger until this light lights up which means all of your bombs have dropped. Um, and the distance between each bomb again is calculated by the computer. Um, so what these means is that your first bomb will impact where that dot is, your second bomb will impact where that circle is and we've got also our altitude there in meters. So what we'll do now is we'll go round and do a proper bomb drop. We need to get a little bit of distance just to get our speed up. Right, so let's turn in. First stage burner. And let's select our waypoint again. Uh, B1 or Mike 1. And there we go, there's our waypoint. And there is our column of tanks or whatever they are. So let's head in. Okay, I'm going to keep my finger on the trigger. Safety release, I'm going to go keep it 100 meters, which is displayed on the left, or a little bit low now, but it'll do. And let's see if we can get these on target. So, trigger now, and that's the bombs off. And you can see there that it's, a, it's a basically hit exactly between my circle and my dot. Um, so we didn't take very many of them out and that's because I put the spacing all the way down to 10 meters uh, between each bomb. So that was a bit stupid of me. I should have done 20 or maybe 30 meters and then those 16 bombs would have basically destroyed all of those, all of those vehicles. Okay, and you can see that our uh, red uh, last bomb light was on so I didn't take the finger off the trigger until that light was on basically which meant it's safe to take your finger off the trigger all of your bombs are gone so like I said really super simple like that um, now you don't have to use the aiming computer so if for some reason um, you couldn't get the elevation of the target which could happen you know it could be a target that you randomly found in which case you couldn't set the um, QFE here in which case the bomb computer would be inaccurate then you could just go and do that bomb run by eye and without the um, the aiming computer and that works absolutely fine. In fact, I find it's just as accurate anyway um, to do that. But really, you should use the bombing computer if you could. So uh, that's all I've really got to say on that. So get bombing and I hope that helps and uh, see you later.